Hey folks, welcome to a segment of the podcast we're calling Flashpoint. Now you will be seeing these drop in in between episodes and a Flashpoint from the Firefighters podcast is aimed to be impactful. It's a nugget. It's a snippet. It will either be a look back at an impactful moment of a previous episode or in the case of today's Flashpoint, where we've caught up with someone at an event and just want to give you that industry insight. So today's Flashpoint is from the Emergency Services Show 2021, where we caught up with David Brown, one of the main organizers for the event, talking about how it went after such a heavily anticipated return. It really was great to get back to the Emergency Services Show this year. It's great that David and the team are still pushing hard to put these events on. So I hope you enjoyed today's Flashpoint. Be sure to look out for other ones coming up soon. And a word to the wise, today's Flashpoint was brought to you by William Wood Watchers. The makers of those beautiful fire service watches, the company with the vision to create beautifully crafted British luxury watches made from upcycled firefighting equipment. After today's flashpoint, be sure to jump on over and check them out. WilliamWoodWatches.com. Hi, Pete. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh my God, then. David Brown, Emergency Services Show. How are you doing, boss? Yeah, good. We good. are here, 2021. The day's finally arrived. Yep. How's it going? Getting um, ready for it? Unbelievable. Two years since the last show, uh, a record 12,000 pre-reg visitors and a fantastic first footfall. Because um, this is actually even bigger than 2019. It's tw- the, the actual show itself is 25% bigger than 2019. That must have been a bit of a thank goodness moment when, because you're coming back, we're still... People think we're past COVID and I don't want to talk about COVID, but yeah. there's that fear for some people still. It, it's a huge effort by the team because really when uh, King Boris Johnson decided that exhibitions <laughs> could be held, yes. on one hand, uh, we all had a big party in the office, so, hey, you know, shows can be held. Amazing, you've got two months. But we've got two months <laughs> and this show takes... 12 months to organize i'll be honest it doesn't look like it's thrown together (laughs) there's a lot of a lot of big expensive stuff in this room and a lot of people and a lot of logistics to to throw together so we've seen some fantastic returning people but there's a whole lot of new exhibitors as well yeah a lot of pandemic and all that we've been gone for two years there's been some great people coming yeah these equipment suppliers have not stood still for two years they've invested and that's why i'm delighted that the response of the emergency services to come and see mm. the latest because technology is just changing. It's really it's gone a game changer, isn't it? It's not yeah. going incrementally one, two, ten. It's surging now. And, and and you're not talking about it's it's not technology, IT technology or mm. communications. It's vehicles. There's electric vehicles here. Um, there's, there's just so many new type mm. of of boot material. Mm. Uh, fabric material speaking launches. to a whole bunch of them they were saying that because you know when you've got that to-do list that you never get around to yeah the, the non-essential yeah, to-do yeah. list people have said that during this sort of shut down they've not been running blah, blah 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 people have had that time to do those projects to do those big innovations in their companies that they've always wanted to do yeah. so that you know because I hear that when you say that we're seeing here today those massive innovation that's finally taken place they've got their teams together they've yeah. had, they haven't had the noise of the industry no one yeah. wants it to happen again but they've not had that going on and there's really been some incredible stuff coming out but i, I think it's twofold i think equipment suppliers uh, have really really missed being able to go out on the road yeah. and going to, to to fire stations and hqs and sell their wares yeah. and equally um end users like yourselves you've yeah. missed seeing the innovation and, and zoom calls and team calls i'm afraid I don't those, crack guys, it, <laughs> those guys had their chance and they screwed it so um, many people have said you know i've said to a lot of people and i'll ask you in a minute I'll just give you a heads up i've said you know what's the best part of the emergency services show what do you enjoy about working in this sector and all of them pretty much all of them have said it's the people and it, the it, irony being they've had all this time without yeah. the people so yeah. now like you said they're back on the road they're meeting the front line but you know putting it into perspective you only have to see uh, the excitement in people's faces uh, on match of the day, Old Trafford, 70,000 yeah. people, Bang. not a face mask to be seen. No. And the joy of people getting back to see their team. Yeah. And, and that's just rolled out. You go down to the pub, you go to the cinemas, you go, people like people. They do. And it's, it's We're social animals, we're exactly. group animals. We need that, you know, you don't have to <laughs> reach out and touch people, but we like that, we like that oxytocin, that, yeah. that serotonin, that bit we get from sharing connection with other people. And that's what I see today. So many people getting back together, different industries, you know, I mean, what have been some of the biggest changes we've seen this year? Because obviously I was really impressed to see the checks you guys had. You said there about 
people being scared, masks, no masks. You guys have been pretty bulletproof in that. I mean, that's the, the, probably the helped a lot of people. Yeah, the messages beforehand, it, it, it was difficult because the government only give a, a limited, a minimum amount. Yeah. Uh, and as an exhibition organiser, especially for the emergency services, you know, you guys are frontline uh, operatives, so you're special. Yeah. And so we've had to put special measures in. Yeah. Um, we don't want anybody going over from here sick. No, go, go, of course we don't. And, and equally, the supply chain. We don't want the supply chain no. to, to go down that they can't. Uh, Absolutely. So it, it, it's a real big responsibility, and we've taken that responsibility extremely seriously. Um, I had to register three or four times before I came in. We had the COVID passes that they needed to do at the beginning. You had to show your authentication. You had to show you'd had your vaccines. Yeah. Everybody here, yeah, it's a massive vault. And, and, and it has safe. caused confusion with people. Yeah. And, uh, and, but, you know, sometimes at the end of the day, we've got the industry's industry, uh, interest at heart. Yeah. We're not just doing it. No. We're not charlatans or anything like that. No, 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 no. It's a professional show. And let's all be sensible. People see how essential it is as well. And whilst a lot of things we've said, some companies have been in limbo and stuff like that, everybody's still been working. The yeah. emergency services is one of the few things that yeah. has been non-stop if anything yeah. we've been busier than ever because we've had to go from pillar to post picking up different i know just from the fire service perspective you know delivering medications doing all these other different roles it never stops but you know what i think the exciting fundamental uh, benefit of an exhibition uh, like the emergency services show is the networking yeah so although you you emergency service personnel have been uh, working all through this time you've yeah. been isolated yeah. you haven't been seeing your colleagues from other um, other emergency services mm. and this is your one chance to, to your first chance to actually get mm. together and and pick up old acquaintances mm. and, and and look at different changes yeah that's uh, going you in. and I have had chats in the past but even I was blown away because we've not met each other before and you obviously ran up and gave me a big hug and a kiss and jumped <laughs> into my arms <laughs> a little bit inappropriate maybe <laughs> but <laughs> it's great to get those steady connections on, we've, steady had, on. we've had so many guests on <laughs> I've not even had a chance to meet them you know yeah. meeting and seeing people here today yeah I mean, I'd just say thank you from the, from the podcast and the listeners' no, perspective. And, and, and equally, um, thank you for doing the podcast because you've been filling in a gap as well mm. of helping people communicate. It's all really, really important. There's so many incredible people here today. I really look forward to the next sort of 12 months giving all of these companies the opportunity to see the incredible innovations we're seeing in, in technology, in fire kit, in the vehicles. There's, I just feel like a kid in a toy shop. There's well, I'm looking forward to, to the next around. 12 months to recover from these. <laughs> Thanks very much. David, thank you so much, yeah, brother. Brilliant. I look forward Cheers, to speaking to you soon. Thank you.